I'm inside Petco at the Montecito Shopping Center in San Rafael, where Marin Cat Connection holds its weekly adoption services. And I'll be speaking with Ann Allen, the founder and director of Marin Cat Connection. Hi, Ann. Hi, Pam. Thank you so much for coming to visit us. Um, we do hold our adoptions here at Petco on Fridays and Saturdays, so we can bring all our foster parents and all the kitties together. Uh, we are an all-volunteer, nonprofit rescue group. We bring many kitties from so many sources into our programs to help them find homes. Um, also, we help kitties that are considered homeless, that are too shy to be adoptable, that we do trap, neuter, and return on. So we're very, very involved in the community and in helping cats. All our volunteers really put their hearts into, into helping these kitties and we're so grateful for all the work that they do. Well, I think it's really generous, by the way, for Petco to allow you to use this space here every week. It's really outstanding because it gives, they give us a lot of space. We average, oh, sometimes up to 40 kitties on, on a Saturday that people can come and visit with. They can talk to the foster moms, get a lot of information about the kitties, because it's very important for people to know that the kitty they're getting it would be a good match for their situation. That way it's a successful adoption and the kitties stay in their new homes and everybody's happy. Well, how long have you been rescuing cats and why do you do this? Oh, I've been rescuing cats specifically for 20 years plus. Uh, and I do it because the need is huge. There are just so many homeless cats uh, in so many critical situations, and so many times it's life and death situations. We get involved in adult, adult cats that have been abandoned, uh, all the way to kittens that we find in dumpsters or at the side of the road in boxes or in parking lots. So it's just unbelievable situations. And, and almost all our kitties have a special story that will really touch your heart. Yeah, well, I was going to say, what is the plight of some of these cats who are now homeless? Well, I can give you an uh, overview of just some of the kitties we have in our program now. I think the two most dramatic at this time are Tinker and Sparkles. It's a mother and son. She's Tinker's about two years old and Sparkles is a year and a half. She's a tabby, he's a tuxedo. And they were in a very um, dangerous area where they were being picked up and sold to a pit bull dog fighting ring. Um, so I was called, there were about 26 cats in this situation. I was called about it, I went there immediately, but there were only 12 left and I took all 12 of those cats. Uh -huh. But uh, things were moving quickly against those kitties and these two particularly are waiting for a home. Other kitties that we have, we just got a little kitty we named Blanca off a very busy street in San Rafael, a very, very busy street, and she had been abandoned and was very scared and wandering on the street. We just got her a home today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we, we do have a, a very successful program. We find a lot of kitties' homes, but it's always... Uh, you know, so important to, to find a good match for them and for the people that are kind enough to give them homes. So when I was here last weekend, it was very emotional. I walked into Petco and, and walked around to where the cages were and I, it was like somebody turned a faucet on. I just let out all these tears. So the question to me is not, I guess, so much why you do it, how you do it, but also through those emotions, it ended up being a good day because I got to see a couple, a young couple adopted two kittens and there was a big round of applause by all the volunteers. Yeah. Well, that's what keeps us going, Pam, is when they get homes because you are just, it just means the world to you because you have put so much heart and time into these kitties. Our volunteers, our foster moms and dads are, are so involved in helping these kitties. It, it touches your heart every day, the, the commitment that's involved with helping them. Do you keep the cats until they find homes? All our cats stay in foster homes until they find uh, a permanent home. And they're very, very deserving of a wonderful home. Black kitties sometimes are, are harder to adopt and are overlooked regardless of their wonderful dispositions and personalities. Adopted pets, especially cats, are so grateful to find a home. Don't you think that they know? Oh, they absolutely do. And, and also with an adult cat, you pretty much know what you're getting, which is a benefit. So I just want to encourage to the viewers to stay open-minded to a cat that you might want to adopt. You might, everybody wants a kitten and everybody should have a kitten I think at some point in their life, but consider adult cat too or better yet two cats. Or two cats, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Because, we do a lot of pairs too. <laughs> yeah, sure. Then they have a companion so when you're away they still have a companion. Absolutely. Makes you feel good there too. Pam, may I, may I make a little request about what 
if anybody's interested at all in helping us, yes, what, please. What, what would help us because we do we are a small rescue group. We do a lot, but there's always room for help, particularly in this economy. We're seeing so many more cats. So, of course, donations always help, or someone that could help us with transportation, fostering, fundraising. I'd be delighted to talk to anybody who might want to participate on any of those issues. It would just it would help us a lot because. Uh, there's a lot to be done. I commend you because this is a huge undertaking here. This is a 24 seven, I'm sure, commitment on your part. Yes. And I also want to applaud you, all your dedicated volunteers. You have a wonderful crew of volunteers. They're amazing, they're amazing. We work very closely together. We deal with very difficult situations and uh, we're very committed to one another as well as our mission in helping these cats.